Hey guys, it's your girl Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on the channel, whether you're new to the channel or an OG. I primarily share planning and organizational videos and today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Now this Dollar Tree haul, I went into the store with a DIY in mind that I'm doing in my apartment and it is my maximalist fridge. So those fridges that you see with magnets, images, the gallery wall, that's going to be on my fridge. I have found inspiration on Pinterest. TikTok, even Instagram, people bringing color into their homes. That is what I want. Like these walls need some spice. Like I just need to spice it up and add some color in here. Also for someone like me that deals with anxiety and depression, having my space be bright will definitely help with the mood. So I'm creating and curating a space that is my safe space. And I'm excited to add different colors and textures and these DIYs are so much fun to put together. I have been shopping on at the Dollar Tree, at the thrift store, also looking on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is a great resource because there are a lot of things that are free. You can join your local Facebook groups for your city of people giving out things for free, but you can also just go on Facebook Marketplace and type in free and different things will come up for your area and surrounding areas as well. So be sure to check that out because that is a great resource. Now getting into the haul. I love peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar Tree and I specifically use it for journaling. There's so much. Look at, look at this piece of paper. It's 11 by 16 sheet. There's so much that you can do with it. I just love me some butterflies, so I couldn't leave it there. Then I also got these wall decals. Wall decals are another great option for your journal. We love adhesive. Now this one you can cut in half or you can just put it in chunks on your page if you wanna do it like vertical and just have this on the side. There's different options that you can do with this and you get two pieces of that. They always show you at the top a photo of how you can implement it into your home, but I definitely like using these for journaling. Speaking of butterflies again, look at these gold foil butterflies. Now, all of the butterflies that Dollar Tree has that the different colors, I have all of them, but these gold foil ones, I couldn't leave them behind. And yes, the brand of this is Main Street. I wonder what it looks like on their website. But to get this for $1.25, this is a winner. And how I store these is that I just cut around it and I put it into like a little photo box that I have on hand. So love that. And then I also got these flowers. And I do the same thing, cutting around it. And I have a box of stuff that I get. Now you just have to pull it apart to cut around it. Very, very easy. But these have gold foil detail on them, which I love. And then Crafter Square section, they had these adhesive prints. Are these not really, really nice? I have a Cricut Maker. I know that it would be able to cut through this. I don't know what I'm doing with it just yet, but I thought this was a great find to have this. This is really, really nice. And this is adding texture and print into your journaling spread. So I really, really like this. This would even be great as a backing for one of my um, photo frames that I'm using on my fridge. So we have possibilities here. I was really excited when I found these. Now, back in the day, Dollar Tree used to have the photo paper. It was Polaroid, I remember, because I used to rack up on it. But even for $1.25, this Jot brand, this is, I can't wait to print some stuff on this. So eight pieces, 16 for $2.25, $3 if you want to add in the tax, round it up. But this is such a great find. So shout out to Dollar Tree for bringing this back. Shout out to the Jot brand. We love the Jot brand. The Jot brand is one of their mainstays. Then I found this magnet set in the crafter square they also had a 90s one with like a phone and like a roller skate i didn't want that so it comes with a coloring sheet and then you get these butterflies you see the details i thought this would be really cute to add to my fridge as well and i'm thinking of coloring one myself having my niece color one like saving one for when she comes over and having her color it and then i don't know what i would do with the third one but we have options 
Then I found this coloring book because I really want to add this to my journal. And this is the interior design one. I know they had a makeup one and there was also a fashion one. What brand is this? I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure. Green Bear, Green Briar International Ink. So these images here, you could literally cut around it and put something like this inside of your journal. Then you have the decorate the shelves. I mean, you don't have to put the whole thing in your journal. You can just cut out certain elements that you want to color. I thought this was really cool to just take these frames and create something in a journal with. And we have this page. I love the floor plan. I love this. Because in a junk journal, like if you wanted to take something like this and then those like flyers that they send in the mail that even have furniture on them or whatever to create something like that, that's cool. But they also give you the little furniture examples down here that you can color and then you can cut those out and create something. Then there's this one as well. This page. And then here's the last page. I really love this one. I would take this with one of the stickers that I have, like one of the other wallpaper sheets. I would put this in the journal and then put this page on top of it. You don't have to use the whole entire thing. Just cut out the portions that make sense to you. Now, as for the things that are going on my fridge, I found a lot of different photo frames. So. These four by six ones, perfect. And they already have the magnet on the back. These are plastic. Now, the pictures that I'm using, I have current photos, I have old photos, and they're Polaroids at that. They're so cute. And then I'm gonna be creating more like junk journal type of spreads of things that inspire me. That's also gonna be going on the fridge. And then I found this one. And what's great about the frames is that you can do it long. You could do it vertical or you could do it horizontal, switch it up. And for the back of the frames, I do go ahead and take off this part and then I put the magnets on the four corner. And the magnets that I'm using, I got them from Amazon. I'll link, I'll link it below. So I have that and then I have bought two mirrors. So we have the square and we have the octagon. So those will be fun to play around with. And these are coasters. And I'm gonna put the magnet on the little ends here. Then we have the galvanized little icons. Now it does have a little loop here to put like a string in it, but I thought that adding like a little clip and then putting a picture on it would be so cute. And then also this one with the heart. And then it's gonna be super easy to just add the magnets on the four corners on the back. Love that. And then the favorite ones that I found are these. And I love getting wood grain stuff. They did have a black one like this, but I love getting more natural finishes because if I wanna add paint, it's super easy to just pop it on top. But look at the little clip. And you could, of course, this one I would leave like vertically, but this one, and this was the only one that I saw. This one I would turn to the side and just put the picture. So yeah. Oh, and I also got this basket because this is going to be like my DIY basket to keep all the things inside. So that is it for this haul. Let me know your favorite item in the comments. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I will have links in the description box for your convenience. And for all of you that are a part of this fam, thank you guys so much. Stay safe and I will see you guys in the next video because there is much more to come. Bye guys.